Afro Beats, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a J. Cole type beat. Um, this is over False Prophets, and this is kind of the advanced version. Um, the last one was kind of like a basic, like how you can do it, like in a basic way, as far as the instruments go. And this one, I'm gonna really show you the core J. Cole sound, and like, because if you know, if you're advanced and you really don't know this kind of secret, not a secret, but like people don't really do it then this will help your beats out a lot. And then, especially when you come to J. Cole, you can implement this into other types of beats too. So your sound doesn't sound the same as others. So I'm gonna start with the drums first and also make sure you go get that kit. It's a free J. Cole mini kit. It has all the sounds I'm using except, um, you know, the roads and stuff, but the bass guitar is in there. So let's get started. So with the snare, I'm just place it like this and I'm in uh halftime 89 BPM. It's pretty fast, but around there you can just look at it and copy it. And I'm going to create a groove by putting like the in-between snare. So usually this would be like um this if you're making a trap beat, right? Be like that, but it's in halftime, so I'm going on the kind of reddish pattern blocks. And this is the first, this is the first part, okay? So let me actually close this so it makes sense. So now I'm gonna put an open hat probably right, right here. Um, let me listen to it first actually. All right, so the hi-hats, okay, the hi-hats, then we could just fill each, yeah, okay, we can do that. So I'm gonna just right click, fill each two steps, right? What I'm gonna do is control, control alt, and I'm gonna just click and uh, hold it and drag these over, okay? So now we got our hi-hats down. So now the trick to these is you wanna mess with the velocity. So just like this last video, it's gonna be the same exact pattern. Maybe a little different for the second hi-hats, but it's gonna go something like this and then bring it back down, okay? And then maybe bring you down, right? And this is gonna hit on the snare. This is why we want this one to be, because this is where the snare's at. And I don't know if I can actually see it. Let me turn on the ghost notes, if they're not already where they are. Well, I don't know where the snare is, but that's where it would hit. So we're going down, up, and then down, and down, up, and then down. So I'm actually delete these. Because it's pretty simple. And then when I map it out, it's going to look going to look complicated, but it's really not. So put those right there. Now we got our hi-hats. OK, and I'm going to actually drag these out so it opens the right here. So for this one, it's a little different. Um, I kind of offset it like this. Let me, this is the second hi-hat, by the way. I have two hi-hats. This is more of a realistic type of hi-hat. So how I would do this one is, let me actually play it so I can hear where it's gonna go. All right, so I think I wanna put No, 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 no. Okay, here's the second one. I'm gonna try that. It's the same thing, I'm just delaying it pretty much. trying to get it let's see okay there we go so I'm gonna use that and maybe a delay okay there we go okay so a little different 
I should have zoomed in. That's why I was kind of confused because it looked like one third of things. But here I have it going. I did basically delayed it half, as you can see. Just delayed it. And I put these up so it, it creates a bounce when the snare hits. Right? And then what I'm gonna do is just copy this to the next one, okay? So you can take a picture of this if you're really having trouble, but you probably won't need to because I'm gonna put all these midis um, in the actual drum kit because for some reason, I guess FO is changing. So I, you can't, some people can't open the templates. So I'm gonna just put the midis in there. So you don't need, I don't have to give a template. I could just, you'll have everything that I have. So you can have that. So here's what it'll sound like together. I know we just heard it, but. So now the kick, right? So now the kick is just gonna be, just wanna kinda just, you know, let me make sure this is down. Just make it like a bouncy type of rhythm. Um, I'm gonna do the exact rhythm from the, or try to get as close as possible to the, from the beat. So, I mean, I'm gonna, I just gotta listen to it. Let's see. All right. Um, I'm just keep going and listen to it, right? So you just wanna play in between these snares, right? I mean, you do that anyway with um, kicks, but you just wanna do it a little bit more on the bouncier parts of the beat. All right, so I think that's good actually. So you can copy these and then, well, you don't have to, but if you don't want to get the kit, then you can do that. So now we can go to the second part and with the hi-hats and everything, you just copy these. I'm just copy these over because it's going to be the exact same, right? And then after these drums, we'll be pretty much halfway done. Like I said, with these beats, with beats, the only difference is the drums that's it and then of course the sound selection but mainly the drums are what's going to make the beat or the style of the beat and the instruments do have a play in that but mainly it's the drums so just letting you know that uh let's see i'm gonna try to go half all right yeah that should oh whoa, 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 whoa. okay snare i'm gonna put the snare here just so i can know where i'm going with this try to get it okay there we go all right so with this one apart in the beat the snare kind of slaps right here kind of like a snare wood and trap beat and then i'm gonna do another one right here and then to create a groove i'm gonna just play the the kick off of the snare so it might be, let me see. It's probably somewhere right here. And then I'm do in between. And this is gonna be the first part. And then obviously we put our, if you cut it in half, this is the first part, right? If we just cut it in half in the middle, this is the first part. So I'm gonna play that. Right, okay. So hopefully that made a little bit of sense. And I'm gonna just do the same pattern as the last one from here. And that should create a bounce, especially in halftime. That'll create a bounce right there. And let's listen. Okay, so I like that. I'm gonna keep it. And yeah, okay. So you can take a picture of this. There's so you can pause it or maybe, yeah, or you can download the kit. I encourage you to download it because it's just easier. All right, so the drums are done. So what I have here is the scale, okay? And this is where it gets kind of advanced. 
So if you didn't know, um, usually people use like a A, they use like a A um, minor scale, right? And they just use that throughout the beat. But you can use multiple scales in your beats. Um, and this J. Cole, and the reason I chose this song because it's a perfect, I, did do, I didn't do it on the last one because it's, this one is a better example of using that. So that's why that one's kind of like the basic tutorial, and this is like the, you know, the advanced. So I'm going to just show you the scales, all right? And I'm going to put all of these together, like one scale in the kit. So I'm going to show you this E major, right? And it looks confusing. That's why I said it might be confusing to a beginner, especially if you don't really know how to work around FL. So we got this, the A sharp minor. I think, yeah, minor, and then the F minor. And I'm playing this in the groove of like the, the actual beat. So, so I'm gonna try to mimic the beat a little bit as far as the roads, just so you can, um, you know, so it actually makes sense. So I'm not just, you know, saying, you know, I have, so I can back up what I'm saying pretty much. All right, so, um, let me see where I want to go with this. So we can do, let me see. These. Yeah, we can do those rows. And this is in Lounge Lizard. Um, so I'm going to go here. And the scales are here, right? So I'm going to kind of just figure out. And with this, there's really no like way to really pinpoint it. Like, you'll get the sound if you just have the scale, right? If you have the scales down, you can just put stuff anywhere. But that's what I'm going to kind of do. And if you want to get technical, I'd say skip every one because that's how you create chords. Skip every other thing. All right, so in this part right here, I'm going to leave it open so I can create like a groove with it. So I'm just copy these pretty much is what I'm doing. And probably want to go see what that sounds like. Oh, wait, I forgot. We're in halftime. My bad. We're in halftime. So I got to make it a little shorter. Okay, here we go. Dang, come on, all right. So, let's see. All right, and then, so you can already kind of hear the melody. This is gonna create a groove, like when you stop, instead of playing it all the way through, when you stop on the instruments and in um, the MIDI, it'll create groove for the next part you hit, so. Right? Okay. I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to make this go down a little bit. All right, so for this one, this is the this is the A. We're in the A sharp minor now. So I'm going to play some some chords. And you can go off off of the grid too because these are all together see but i wouldn't recommend doing that if you don't know what you're doing so i'm gonna play these two together and when you play with roads a lot of times people do that and it creates a weird sound like a not a weird sound but like a a good weird sound so c sharp right here and you see i'm skipping pretty much every other note and i'm treating these as one note Then in the song, there was a let me look, so. I might tweak this. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Let's see. All right, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to keep that. And then up here on the next one, it's going to be the F. What was it? F. 
minor okay you can see i'm just following the scales and after this one i'm gonna go a little faster it's just i want to go slow and explain so people won't be confused because this is kind of a advanced thing to do and then i'm gonna think i think i'm gonna go off the grid on this one we'll see we'll see how it sounds so we'll come down here and let's see what that sounds like All right, so you see how if you go off the grid, it kind of creates that like, I don't know, like weird pitch sound. So what I'm gonna do is copy this. So you can randomize it, but I'm not gonna do that because you don't really have to with the roads, you don't really have to. So now we have our instruments down. So I'm gonna play it with the beat. All right, so I added a background rose just to create, make it more full, and I just copied and pasted it. All right, so this is your this is your song pretty much. All right, so now from here, all you need to do is just add like the little uh, stuff details in the song. So the strings, well, yeah, we can do the strings first. So the strings, there was like a one note string in there, so I'm gonna kind of just figure out where I want to put it, and you just play on these notes. This is going to be one across, all right? So, and that's not a, all right. Okay, that's not a string. Maybe we can go with the, uh, let's see what that's. Like. All right, we can stick with that. I'm going to turn this down. So I want it to be very, very faint. So you can't even, you can barely hear it. Um, in the song, I think it was like an actual like choir in there. So now I'm gonna do the bass. So now if you made it, let's see, that's a pretty short video. Um, if you made it this far, the bass guitar, this one is a little, it's, you gotta play it kind of like a real instrument. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And you really gotta, you really have to pay attention because it might, I mean, it's not that, it's not as complicated as the roads, but it could, like, the placement where you put stuff could be, could be a problem. So, I'm going to play one right here. I'm going to try to play it like kind of a groovy melody. And the velocity doesn't really matter. So, I'm going to just play it high pitch so I can hear it. You want to play it kind of offset instead of playing it like on the grid every single time you kind of want, you can offset it too and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna kind of go in the melody of the song if i can so let's see So I think that for now that sounds pretty good. So I'm trying to kind of just remember what, like where the placement was in the song. Thank you. 
just stick with this one for the sake of the tutorial. I don't want to spend too much time on it. And what you can see I'm doing is I'm kind of playing. You see how I'm offsetting this? This is like the half point right here. I'm kind of offsetting things instead of playing it like this. I'm kind of offsetting it, right? Just create like a groove. And over here, same thing, kind of offsetting it. And it's going to end up on the, you know, on the grid on the last note, as you can see right here. So you can play around with this if you want. I'll have this in the kit as well. So you can just drag and drop and, you know, change stuff around, move stuff, delete stuff. So now I'm going to try to um, probably just do something like this. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think where I want to put this, where it sounds best. So I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna keep that right. And I'm just copy it over and probably, well, I am going to make the, um, turn it down. Or... So we want the base to be a background element, right? So we're pretty much done. Now we can add a guitar for like the, I just picked the instruments that I, that was most noticeable in the beat. So that's why it's kind of like, um, you know, kind of like this. So I'm gonna try to play a guitar. This is like a faint guitar. And this is a guitar in Omnisphere. An acoustic one, I don't really, it's like a something string, I don't know, but I'm going to play the beat, and I'm going to probably like fix it up later, but for now, I'm going to just play this through and see where I want to put this. <laughs> velocity high Keep it simple, so I'm gonna just pick one note, maybe play with on the grid here. Let's see.
All right, so I'm going to just work with that just for the video. I'm not trying to do anything too crazy. So what I'm going to do is just bring this down. I'm going to put these here and just kind of mix it a little bit. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm going to turn these down. I want the drums to stick out, so I'm going to kind of turn these down a little bit. Make sure the hi hats are about the same. Offset them, and basically here it's like, what do I want to stick out? I want the the guitar. I don't want the guitar to stick out. Put some reverb on it. And this is not like a mixed tutorial, so I'm kind of just going fast. The strings in the background take out some of the low end. The roads I really want to stick out. So put this in there. a pretty decent mix it's not like a really good one but i'm gonna save this take these out right here so that i can split by channel okay i should have put took the instrument thing off all right how long are we going about 30 all right so i'm gonna just put these down I'm not really going to structure, I'm just putting these down for now. So just throw the drums down here. Like that. Where's the hi hat?
All right, so hopefully this tutorial helps you out. If you're new, subscribe. Um, if you're returning, subscribe. Comment, let me know what you think. Um, if this helped you out, if you learned anything. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.